92% of people suck at life. Just kidding, kinda. I'm willing to bet you've made a New Year's resolution and let's be honest, you quit. I quit. What? A study by the University of Scranton says that only 8% of people actually make it to the end of their goal. The other 92% quit typically within the first month. So how do we make sure you're the 8% and not the other 92%? Well, in this video, I wanna share with you 10 tips or principles, if you will, that'll help you stay on track and make sure you see your resolution or goal to the end. I love working out and honestly, fitness is the most popular New Year's resolution. It's also the one people fail most at. So I'm gonna use working out as an example for this video. Come on, push it out. But these principles can apply to any type of goal you have. The first principle is going to be start small, but be specific. Instead of being like, I wanna lose weight, or I wanna work out more, how about I wanna lose five pounds in the next month, or I wanna work out for 30 minutes three times a week. By doing this, you're gonna make it more obtainable and you're gonna give yourself a clear objective on what it is exactly you're working towards. People only tend to think of the huge or long-term goal and as humans, well, this is a mistake because when we only focus on that, we tend to start telling ourselves all the reasons why it's impossible for us to do it. The next step is going to be making a plan. Think about the specific steps you need to take to reach this goal. Maybe that's going for a walk or jog before work every morning, or if you're joining a gym, you can write out on a calendar the specific days of the week that you wanna go. Writing things out tend to make it more real, so take the time to, in your planner or on a calendar, write down when you have available and when you could actually work on your specific goals. This will help you see it, and more than likely you'll stay on track. It's also gonna help with the next step. So the next step is going to be tracking your progress. Whether that's a journal, your phone, a computer, doesn't matter. You can even use a fancy whiteboard. You'll see where you started, you'll see where you fuck up, you'll see where you win. And to be honest, this can be really motivating, but it's also just in real time letting you see the progress you're making and where you need to make adjustments. And this is really important. So the next one really should go without saying, but it's be consistent. You should try every day to work towards what it is you're trying to achieve. However, if you have a speed bump, we're human, we fuck up it's okay. Don't let that derail the entire process. Get back on track as soon as possible. The next one is going to be get support, right? You need to start building a circle of people who are going to help motivate you and support you and guide you to your end goal. Don't enlist the help of family and friends who are at where you're currently at. You should build this circle of people who are ahead of you in life if you have a financial goal, maybe they've already reached that goal. Enlist the help of people who are striving to also better themselves and are ahead of you. That way you push yourself to get to their level. So the next one really is kind of one of those like, oh yeah, but it's going to be keep a positive attitude. Took them one day. When you're working or even if you have failures, try to just remind yourself of what your goals are and what you're working towards. Having a positive attitude about shitty situations will more often than not help you push through what really is going to be a small moment of discomfort. And that leads me into the next one. And that's going to be embrace the suck. Any goal worth achieving isn't going to be easy. And you just need to get yourself in the mindset that that's what it is. That you're going to be in situations that are hard, uh, uncomfortable, and that's okay. It's where you're supposed to be. If you can build a mindset around that, you're going to be a lot better off than most. Because most people, when they get uncomfortable, they quit. So number 10 is find ways to stay motivated. And this is a tough one because more often than not, you're not going to be motivated. Let's just be honest. When I wake up in the morning, my first thought isn't, yay, I want to go do cardio and hit weights. No, it's honestly, I want to turn on TV and maybe fall back asleep for another hour. But choosing to get out of bed and go to the gym and work out or work towards any goals I have when I don't feel like it is the best thing you can do for yourself because if you can push yourself when you're not feeling motivated, well, the days you are motivated, you're gonna work that much harder. So try to find inspiring videos. Seeing a goal through to the end is hard. In fact, it's meant to be. If it were easy, everyone would be winners, conquerors, and in shape. Don't let anyone ever tell you any different. If you found value in this video, do me a favor. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and don't be a little bitch.